Good morning. It says in John chapter 13, verse 7, Jesus says to his disciples, What I am doing now, you do not understand. You can say that again. What I am doing now, you do not understand. That is often the case in the life of a disciple. For these disciples, it seemed to be going very dark and all very pear-shaped. Jesus seemed unhappy. Judas had left the room. Jesus was speaking about being betrayed, about dying, about going to the cross. It seemed like it was going in the opposite direction of all their hopes and dreams. And sometimes it is like that in our life. Sometimes things don't seem to be going the way we think. And we can look and think, God, are you with me? Are you here? Are you in this? And he says to us today, listen, what I'm doing now, you do not understand. Later, you will understand. But when you don't understand, it calls for complete trust in Jesus. So that sentence is very helpful to us. Jesus says to some of us this morning, what I'm doing now, you don't understand. And do you know something? That's okay. You don't have to understand everything to walk with God. You don't have to always be in the know. What you do always have to do is trust him, especially in the dark, especially when you don't understand, that's the time to trust him. If you always want to understand, then really you're trying to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Right back there in the Garden of Eden, there was the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God said, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, <laughs> but we've been eating from it in disobedience ever since. The, the knowledge of good and evil, wanting to know about evil, wanting to know about good, wanting to know the need to know. Well, it's on a need to know basis. Yes, and you know, sometimes you don't need to know. Sometimes it's God's kindness when you don't know. Sometimes God's protecting you from the intrigues of man and anxieties of heart that would come to you if you did know what was going on all the time. Jesus said to his disciples, what I'm doing now, you do not understand. The good news is that he's doing it. He says to them, what I am doing now, you do not understand. Here's some good news for you. If you don't understand what God's doing in your life, I assure you, he is doing in your life. Even if you don't see it, he's at work, around the back, behind you, sorting out your heart, your life, your destiny, your family, your ministry, answering your prayers, doing what he does best. And you don't always need to know. What I'm doing now, you don't understand. And you know something? We need to be okay with that. We need to say, Lord, okay, I don't understand, but I choose to trust you that you know best. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that when you do things that we don't understand, you are actually doing things. Thank you that you're always at work in our life. You will never fail us or forsake us. We choose to trust you now with the things that we don't understand with the things that don't look logical, helpful or right. We choose to trust your sovereignty, that you know best and that all is well, because you are God. Amen.